What's going on everyone? Seth Moran here. This is Adorama Rewind and is the last rewind of 2018 and what a year it has been. I will be back in 2019, so I'll see you guys next year. And I hate when people say I will see you next year and it's like a week away, but forgive me for that. Let's go forward. Uh, speaking of 2018 being an incredible year, let's uh, take a look at National Graphics photo of the year. So, Justin Tartarov shot this. It is pretty much every Audi and Volkswagen that was recalled from the emission scandal sitting and rotting in the Mojave Desert in California. It's a pretty striking image. All that heavyweight on the right, all that empty void on the left. Uh, showing pretty much how big this scandal and problem was and just a social commentary on our impact on this earth of just having all these cars just rotting away, uh, not to mention the emission scandal itself. But uh, I feel like we keep bringing up our impact on the earth as an issue on this show, at least once every episode. And if you look back on the playlist, uh, that says something right there. So be conscious of what you're doing out there, okay, kids? Uh, but in some victorious news... Giant media conglomerate violates copyright federal judge sides of photographer. So pretty much somebody was at a wedding and Trump crashed that wedding showing up because uh, it was one of his uh, golf clubs. And he showed up to surprise the bride and groom. TMZ, if you see right here, grabbed this photo that was shot by Jonathan Otto. And you can see here, he's like, where's my credit compensation? Uh, they're using this image without permission. So went to court. The judge basically said, yeah, this isn't uh, transforming the use of this image. You're basically using this image to illustrate your article. Therefore, you can't just steal the image. You have to give credit or compensation to this person. So that's a pretty good victory. We've had a lot of talk about image rights on this show over the year. Uh, looks like a little bit of a win, so feel pretty good about that one, okay? In more uplifting news, uh, Adobe is now uh, supporting ProRes exporting on Windows machines. So pretty much you can use the popular ProRes format, which has been an Apple-based format pretty much, uh, using the ProRes raw codec and things like that. So it's allowing for this super popular format that has been uh, pretty much compressing your files a pretty good amount, but still keeping color versatility, a lot of lossless compression and things like that. It's been really great out there. A lot of good reviews on it. A lot of people are adapting to it. And now if you're a PC user, you have the ability to export to a ProRes format, which is what a lot of clients are asking for right now. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, more innovations or more adaptations, I should say. We spoke about the Loom Cube, right? Well, now it's available for the Mavic 2, the DJI Hasselblad famous um, equipped drone. As you can see here, these right here, if you can see my cursor circling around them, are mounts that are allowing Loom Cubes to be mounted to your drone. So if you see down here for $189.99, the Loom Cube can be mounted to your DJI Mavic Pro. So that's where I'm gonna leave the news for this week. I try to keep it tight and I don't wanna give you guys rumors. While they are fun, it's pretty irresponsible to like feed you those rumors unless I can fact check them. So when I do see them coming down the line, the blogs or the forums, stuff like that, or even just word of mouth, I try to make a bunch of calls and see what I can get to come out of people. But most of the time it's really just rumors flying and things just snowball based off of comments and other things like that. So that's my own ethics on that. Take it as you will, but this show is pretty much about legitimate facts. But even though we're going on break till 2019, I wanted to uh, give you guys some more content to feed on like this, which is our photographer roundtable that just premiered. We did a YouTube premiere, which had a live chat. You could talk with Paul Frankie, to, uh, Tim McGurr, Dave Krugman, and Jason Peterson were in the chat when we did that premiere. However, they still are answering comments, so feel free to comment down below in this video asking questions. This is brought to you by the people that bring us TTL on our channel, which is Sal Dahlia pretty much. Uh, but it's a really beautifully shot, great discussion on uh, where things are at the industry in this day and age from people that are really well established in this modern age of photography. Really great discussion, really good insights. I'm not going to show you too much of it, but um, check that out and comment down below and they'll be sure to engage with you back. Uh, the first episode is on landscape. This one's on street. And if you guys are feeding into it, we'll do more of these. So check it out. And just so you're not hung out to dry, I want to remind you about this, which is our Adorama Facebook page, which has plenty of live demos. We have an interview with Frank Smith. I did my own ghosting exposures, uh, creative exposures demo right here in the event space. Daniel did an expensive lighting. We have Vanessa Joy showing how to do speed posing and lighting bold and beautiful and all sorts of three go-to lighting setups. I mean, Lois Greenfield, a lot of great stuff on our Facebook as well as our YouTube. So, but that's mostly uh, live recorded, live streamed content. So be sure to check that out. 
And don't forget about, sorry guys, I'm bringing stuff up. Uh, don't forget about this one too, Instagram TV. So IGTV right there on our own Instagram at the, at the first highlight, you'll see the IGTV. More live demos I shot with the Loom Cubes, which we just talked about being thrown onto drones. Uh, I did some beauty portraits with the uh, eye lighter and you know, you just click on it and you get yourself a vertical format for your phone. Uh, weird things Vanessa packs for a wedding day. I turned the event space into an environmental portrait. Speed posing again with Vanessa Joy. She's a beast. I got to give it to her. My Halloween demo where I shot special effects makeup, things like that. So if you're on our, our Instagram, just hit the first highlight circle on our page and you'll go right to the IGTV. It is packed, packed with uh, more content, video tutorials, um, uh, talks about gear and things like that. So check that out. And to close this out, I'm just going to bring up some comments, but I'm gonna say thanks to a few all-stars. Mike James, you're always leaving these gigantic comments. I can't thank you enough. Uh, I also wanna thank Candy and Patty Mates. Uh, you always, always leave comments and create a lot of discussion going on, so I really appreciate that. But I wanted to leave off on this one from Jesse Starks. Instagram seems like it has the sea of sameness disease for the most part, and I'm still staying clear of it. There are, however, some people that seem to be doing well all right with that platform. Uh, yeah, so maybe it is getting to be all the same, and maybe 2019 is where you bring your voice and your point of view to the platform. It is a large, large audience on there, and the algorithm is constantly changing. I get that it's hard, and I get that we don't know exactly how to navigate ourselves and what to do with our own content, but at least you're putting it somewhere. At least you're shooting, and it's not just going into a folder that no one's gonna see. Put it out there, make your statement, uh, put your point of view out there and see what happens. It's your choice whether you want to placate to what people think they want to see on there or build your own audience. And from in my perspective, there's enough room for all audiences on there and all point of views. So don't stop creating. I'm going to leave you there uh, with that for 2018. Just don't stop. When you think you're done, I guarantee you there's another level. And we're here to help you guys with tutorials, demos, uh, gear reviews, whatever we can put out there for you to get the tools in your hands and the knowledge in your head to make those hands as optimal as possible to create what you want to create out there and just grow and evolve. Um, I've ran this event space for the last year and I did it from the premise of I don't care what you buy, I just want you to be psyched on what you're doing and don't give up because I've seen plenty of people just buy gear and just get frustrated and call it a day. And it doesn't have to be that way. There's plenty of information out there and we're doing the best we can to bring it to you. So having said that, be good to each other out there in 2019. Uh, this has been an amazing 2018. Again, thank you all so much. We can't do this without you engaging. So write me down in the comments. Tell me what you think about this. Do you have anything to say about that National Geographic, National Geographic photo of the year? I think it's a pretty heavy statement. Uh, what do you think about that judge uh, saying, TMZ, you can't have this image without giving compensation or credit? Sorry about the door opening and closing. Great. Also, keep in mind, I record this live in the event space, so you hear all this crazy sound. I apologize for that, but whatever. We'll, we'll work on it for 2019. Be good to each other, everybody, all right? Hit like, hit subscribe, all the stuff around here except for this. Write a comment. I'll see you down there below, and I will see you in 2019. Peace.